Did you know that there are 2.1 million OnlyFans creators in the world? And thousands of new creators join the platform every month. Some making upwards of a million dollars every single month. And you're watching this video because you're wondering how to do one thing. Sign one of them to your OnlyFans agency. My name is Kyle Plummer and I own an OnlyFans management agency where we've helped dozens of creators crack the top 1% in earnings. And today, I'm gonna help you sign your first model and if you already have a model, sign more. There's five ways that you can go about doing this. All will have different levels of cost, time, and effectiveness. The first strategy is tapping into your network. There's a chance you know someone personally that does OnlyFans. If you do, this is definitely the easiest place to start because there's already trust likely between you. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. The best part about this is they will give you the most amount of time to get results. You will be able to learn as much as possible before testing your system and strategies on strangers and build up your confidence early. Plus, of course, there's less of a chance that they will leave you one morning without paying for your services and blocking you on all social media accounts. The next place is to go to sugar daddy websites like seeking.com, sugar book, or sugar daddy meat, for example. If the girls on those sites are willing to do what they're willing to do for money, they would likely be open to the idea of OnlyFans. They would be able to make their own money, be their own boss, and there's a good chance that they're good looking, which will help them on OnlyFans. Now, it is against terms of service on these sites to solicit our services. So you have to be subtle in what you are doing. Your goal is to try to get them off the platform as quickly as possible. Once you have a little back and forth, give them your WhatsApp number because you don't check this app much. After connecting with them on WhatsApp, it's important not to go in right for the kill. You will want to build some connection. They don't know you. Get them interested in you. Let them ask questions. And at some point, they will likely ask you what you do for work. It's important to be very mysterious. Say you own a couple marketing businesses and just leave it at that. And let the conversation die out a bit. A couple days later, tell them you have an opportunity at one of your companies that could be very lucrative for them. And say, look, I, I want to be open with you here. I help OnlyFans creators to making 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 or more a month. Not sure if you've ever considered doing OnlyFans, but we were able to get X results from this model recently and she didn't even have an active social media account. What are your thoughts? And I'm gonna talk a little bit later about how to actually close these clients, so make sure that you stick around. But let's move on to your next option to find your first OnlyFans model. Outreach. You can start DMing girls. I would search hashtags such as spicy content, spicy accountant, or fake body on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Just know that these girls get dozens and dozens of messages a day, so you will have to find a way to stand out. You know, it's a it's a numbers game, so don't expect to message 10 girls a day and get results. I recommend bumping those numbers up to 100 messages a day. When someone checks their DMs, there's only a short portion that's visible before they decide to open it or not. This is not the time to do a simple, hey, or how's it going? Be a little more interesting, like this is a little weird, dot, 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 or this is really random, dot, dot, dot. And then when they open your message, it will continue to say something like, but I stumbled across your Instagram and noticed you do OnlyFans. We've been using some out of the box techniques to double, triple, or more OnlyFans creators' incomes without having them do more work. I'm not sure if you would be a good fit, but would you mind me asking a couple questions about your account? You might get ghosted by a lot of them, but again, it's a numbers game. Eventually, someone will talk to you. And if you don't wanna do all this work yourself, I'd recommend hiring a virtual assistant off Upwork for cheap to do all this work for you. And that's exactly what I did when I first started my agency. I had a virtual assistant that would go out and DM 100 people every single day. And in the beginning, it was you know really slow, but eventually, we started to get more responses, more responses, until I was on the phone pretty much all afternoon, every single day with these OnlyFans creators. And here's a little bonus tip that will increase your chances of getting a response. Email. Some of these creators will have their email connected to their Instagram. You'll definitely want to get a professional email account from your agency website, not a typical Gmail. I will talk in a moment about a resource you can use to build out a polished agency brand. Your next option to find OnlyFans models is to actually run Instagram or Google ads. This will be one of the more expensive routes, but at least you'll be getting in front of the models. This might be a good option if your DMs aren't getting through. Be careful of what you post though on Instagram because OnlyFans is against advertising guidelines. So you will want to be subtle with what you say. I would recommend using screenshots of results with whatever you do. These are easily recognizable by OnlyFans creators. Your last option, which full disclosure I've never tried, but would guarantee you get a model today, is buying one. Now I have mixed feelings about this method. The only reason I know about it is because many of my students have asked about it and have also been put into Telegram groups where there are companies who sell models. They will run ads and 
and talk to the models, then work out an agreement. They would essentially be a middleman. They provide the details about the model, how big her following is, what she is comfortable doing, and what is the agreed upon revenue share. Models will be priced different depending on the value you will be getting. I haven't found any websites that do this in my research. I feel like you have to know someone to find these groups. And to be honest, I'm not sure how legitimate these sources even are. And I'm gonna make a future video where I actually go out and buy one of these models from one of these vendors and just document the whole process and see if we can actually scale them. So make sure to like this video if you wanna see that. And subscribe so you don't miss out. Ideally, when you get in touch with one of these models, you will want to quickly get them on the phone. As the old saying goes, strike the iron while it's hot. If you wait too long, you will miss an opportunity. You can do a Zoom call, regular phone call, or Instagram call. Calls are important because this is a trust-based business and that's the best way to do it. Because when you work with these OnlyFans creators, they are going to be sharing a lot of sensitive information, like passwords to their social media accounts, and their OnlyFans that they've been building up for a long time, likely. You can also close people through DMs, and I've certainly done that before. You will want to make sure you have built a solid brand and not just some random guy on the internet, as I mentioned before. I released a video on YouTube a couple days ago about how to build an OnlyFans agency from scratch, step by step. And in there, I talk about how to build a brand, okay? If you want to see that video, I'll include a card up here that you can check that out. Either way you decide to do it, here are my three best tips to close and sign your first model today. Number one is proof. Remember, they have no idea who you are. They have a natural instinct not to trust you. After all, you are some stranger that reached out to them on the internet. Why should they give you access to their pride and joy that they've built and potentially destroy all their hard work? We need to provide results, which you can find on Google and results are something I provide to members of the Scale Mastery Academy. And I want you to position it not only just as general results, but you want to say the results are from a model that is very similar to them. You know, fill in the blank for whatever that means with the person you're talking to. People care about results, but it's more powerful when they know you can help their specific situation. For example, if I pay someone to run Google ads for me, but they have only worked with local law firms and I'm an e-commerce store, there's a disconnect. If that same Google Ads manager said they've exclusively worked with e-commerce businesses and the results show a good track record, I'm eager to jump on board. Second is to let them sell themselves on the idea, okay? When it comes to sales, you don't wanna sell. You don't wanna force something down someone's throat. Let them come to the conclusion that their life would be worse if they didn't have your service involved in their business. You should be asking a lot of questions. Of course, questions like, how much did you make last month? Where are you driving traffic from, et cetera, et cetera. But on top of that, ask some more thoughtful questions like, tell me what you like about OnlyFans. What is something you don't like about OnlyFans? See, what you're doing is called framing. You are putting them in the mindset of the parts they would rather not do and potentially hire it out. So if they said, well, I hate responding to DMs. It's really time consuming. And a lot of the conversations aren't pleasant. Boom, there you are. Then you can say, what if there was a possibility to never have to deal with DMs again? Not only that, but what if there was a company that could sell more content while you were relaxing, traveling, or sleeping? Another question to ask is, why are you doing OnlyFans? It might be a deep question, but there must be some other reason beyond just money. They might say something like, well, five years ago, I was working 50 hours a week at a retail store and I had no free time to do things I enjoyed. I didn't even have time for dates. Again, you are putting them in the mindset of why they want to be successful, okay? You're tapping into their emotions. Your goal is to try to get as much information as you can and then position how they can reach those goals with your services. Don't sell, help them envision a better life with you at the center of it. And third, hold your value. Don't come off as if you need them to be part of your agency, okay? You've got a lot of things going on. You're a busy agency owner. You aren't looking for anybody and everybody. You are looking for the right person. And never assume it's a good fit. Say things like, look, to be honest, I'm not sure if we would even be a good fit. We've helped dozens of models make over X amount of money, but if it's not the right person, we can't help. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? And all your responses should come off as cool, calm, collected. Your perspective is, I am interviewing this person for a spot on the squad, not that I need this person to be on the team. Your entire life can change from OnlyFans management and we are just at the beginning of this industry. If you are just at the beginning of your OnlyFans agency journey, your goal should be to cut the time between launch 
and signing your first model as quickly as possible. It really doesn't matter who it is, the sooner you sign a model, the sooner you can learn and develop a successful system for the future of your agency. And if you want my system that has helped dozens of OnlyFans creators crack the top 1% in earnings, I've detailed out all my secrets in what I call the Scale Mastery Academy. It comes with a private Telegram group so you won't have to go on this journey alone. You get to ask questions and bounce ideas off myself and other OnlyFans management agencies just like you. You can find more information linked below, but I gotta get out of here. I recommend you check out this video next and we'll talk soon.